Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the WebEx device integration with the Microsoft Teams, or we can say how we can join the Microsoft Teams meeting on a Cisco WebEx device, or I can say Cisco WebEx Codec Plus, RoomKit, or any other devices, how we can join the Microsoft Teams meeting. So first what we will do, we will add a Microsoft Teams button on the Cisco WebEx devices. And then I'll add a code and then you will be able to see the Microsoft Teams icon will show up on the touch panel that is touch 10, which Cisco is going to use or, or I can say Cisco is already using it. And then what we need to do to make that button workable, right? So to make that button workable, we need to add a macro variable. We need to add the macro. So we will need to add the macro to make that button workable. So first, we, what we will do, we will add the Microsoft Teams icon or I can say the action button on the particular WebEx device or I can say, so I am just using the Codec Plus. So I'm going here, you can see we have uh, these options home call, setup, customization. So let me, let me first show you, uh, like there is no Teams icon on the Touch 10 device. So let me go to issues and diagnostics. Under the user interface screenshots, you can see it up. Let me just remove this one, awake the system, and let me click on this touch panel screenshot so that you can see what all are the options it is showing up right now. So it will usually show you a like home call or a sharing option or WebEx like this one. So you can see call button is there, share screen, WebEx, and the steps. These four buttons are showing up here but there is no icon or a button for Microsoft Teams meeting, right? So I'm gonna add a Microsoft Teams icon here, okay? So for that, you need to go to UI extensions editor first. So let me click on this one, UI extensions editor. What you need to do it here, you need to add the Microsoft Teams icon. So here it's it, start adding your first UI extension. Let me click on new and here, you can see it says add a new UI extension, whether you wanted to add a panel or you wanted to add an action button. What does this mean? This panel means you, cre you can create a panel with buttons and sliders and it is mainly useful or I can say these can be, for example, control the lights in the meeting room, right? If you wanted to control the lights in the meeting room, that is helpful for that. Action button, this creates a button that runs a custom script. Script means that is what we are going to add it in the macro editor, that is JavaScript. And this is a great way to create quick dials, for instance, that is what we are going to do, like Microsoft Teams icon, or you can use Zoom, or you can use Google Meet. You can do, and you can add any action button. So I'm gonna add this action button right now. Let me click on add. Here you can see, it says button, action button, home screen, ID panel one, so I can say maybe uh, this as button one or name I can give MS Teams. You can you can give any other name as well. So whatever name you are going to add it here, it will show it up on that particular touch panel, right? MS Teams, it will show it up on the home screen. Okay, let me scroll it down and here you can see what icon you wanted to use it for this MS Teams. As as of now, this icon is clicked. As of now, you can see it up here. But usually, let me do it this one. Like, it shows a video call or, or something else, right? So I'm gonna use this one. And you wanted to use this extension button color. Which color you wanted to use? Let's say you wanted to use a red color or maybe you wanted to use this blue color. So you can just click on, on any of the color, whatever it is showing up here. Right, so this button one, name is there, home screen is there, icon we choose, we choose the extension button color as well. Now let me save it. So you can, how you can save it? Here you can see it says export configuration to video system or you can go up here on the three lines and here you can see export to video system. Both are the same thing, this export to video system or this one export configuration to video system. So let me just click on this one. Now it says your video system was updated. 
right so now maybe you have a question whether do we need to uh, add this new button again and again on all the devices and uh, put the name ms teams choose home screen choose the icon choose the color for everyone so you can do that as well or we can create an xml script or i can say uh, the room control config whatever we did we can just export it from here right so i can go to these three lines and i can say export to file if i click on this export to file it will save it on my on my desktop or laptop right and as soon as the next time you wanted to do it on any other device so you can directly come to these three lines you can import it import from file once you click on import from file it will uh, it will browse it on your on your laptop right so now let me first export it so i'm going to export it and it says room control config xml file let me just export it to desktop room control config is the name save as type is xml and save it right so now this file is saved right now let's say uh, and now i wanted to just upload it without this without clicking on this new option and i wanted to upload this file like you are using it maybe you are doing something on on new device right instead of clicking on new you can directly import this file and how you can do it click on this three lines you can say import from file i click on import from file opens up my desktop and let me click on desktop and here i can see room control config click on this one and like i'll click on open right so it will show it up here if you are doing this right right now not showing up because i have already added the same things already there button one ms team home screen everything is showing up here even i'll show it i'll show you these things again i'll, I'll delete this ms teams icon and then i'll show it to you as well how you can upload it or oh, this is just the way you can do it and after importing the file you need to click on this one so that it says your export video export configuration to video system so that it will export it or i can say it will save it like whatever i'm doing export okay your video system was updated right so this is the first step now let me go back to my system or i can say to the device and here you can see you have another option which is macro editor so you need to click on this macro editor it will take some time to open it up what you wanted to do what you need to do on this macro editor you need to add the javascript or i can say the script uh, on this macro editor it is written in java so you can get the code uh, you can get the java code from uh, maybe i can say it from google you can find it out or from microsoft github you can find it out the particular code or i can say a demo code but depends on your organization you can modify it or i can say you need to modify that code because this code what you find it on google or on the github or on the microsoft that is just a demo right so you need to make changes on that code based on your organization's requirement right so what you need to do you just need to add the code here need to save it enable the macros and then everything will be good right so let me just wait for this one to come up so that i can add the code here or i can say that the javascript code here and i will enable the macros as well or let me show you the code as well okay now it's there uh, it's just loading it and here you can see it says import from file or create a new macro if you already have a javascript file saved on your machine then you can directly click on this one import from file you can import that file and it will come up here if you do not have it but you have a code maybe you just have a code and you need to copy it then you can just click on this one create new macro so let me uh, let me go back to my code here this is my code and let me just copy this code copy it and then i'll come back to this one create new macro let me click on this one and here let me delete everything okay and let me paste it right so you can see uh 
this macro editor contains this code now i just found it on the on the github so you can also check it out as here you can see function is called on on gui teams event and function is called for teams meeting and at the last you will be able to see like this one on gui teams and teams meeting this is xfbi event it says user interface extension panel clicked then it will call this function which says on gui teams when user add like something it says user interface message text input response then it will call this function which says teams meeting right and then there is a code if else loop is there then you can say team start even search webex.com so everything is showing up here like in this one on gui teams it says team start interface message text input display and everything is showing up so you can modify it based on your organization's requirement so once you add this macro once you add this code here you need to save it after saving you need to enable the macro this one is this one says enable or disable macro let me enable it and here you can see loading and macro is ready so starting macros loading and the macro is ready right so now let me go back to my device i'll go back to the issues and diagnostics and here go to the user interface screenshot so that i can see whether my ms teams icon is showing up there or not let me remove the previous one awake the system and click on touch panel screenshot so you can even see actually both uh screenshots which is on the touch panel as well as on the on screen on screen that means your big monitors and the touch panel here so now here you can see previously uh we were having call share screen webex and this tips option but ms teams icon was not there now ms teams icon is there because i have added that ms teams icon on the ui extensions editor and i choose this icon which is coming up here for a video call and i choose the blue color that's why it is coming up as a blue color you can change it based on your preference whether you want it to be like a like a red color or any other color or you wanted to change this icon you can do it by going to the same ui extensions editor right so whatever we did on the ui extensions editor is just for the icon to display it here and whatever we did in the macro editor that means whenever someone is clicking on this ms teams icons what it needs to do right so whatever whatever you have in the microsoft teams meeting you can just click on this one enter the conference or i can say enter the meeting id and the passcode and then you can join your microsoft teams meeting on the webex device right second thing what i wanted to show you uh, let me uh, go back to ui extensions editor uh, let me delete this button and i'll show you uh, how the import works so let me delete the section button let me configuration do it this one export okay configuration updated i'll click on this three lines and go to import from file and i need to import this one room control config click open and now you can see my ms teams button is again here right you don't need to change anything now you can see button one is there already ms teams i name ms teams is already coming up on screen is clicked this icon is clicked this blue icon is already clicked as an extension button color right and after that you need to update the video system and you are done so once you do this configuration ui extensions editor and the macro editor and then you just need to verify it by going to issues and diagnostics and then under the issues and diagnostics you need to click on user interface screenshots so that you can see uh, a touch panel screenshot as well as the on-screen display screenshot that is what you need to do to join the microsoft teams meeting on the webex devices i hope you learned something from this video and soon i'm gonna post videos related to the microsoft team starting from scratch so most probably you will be able to learn something from me on the microsoft teams as well right so if you like this video then please hit like share and subscribe my channel so that uh, you will get notifications of all my upcoming videos thank you